What's up, YouTube? I've been making a couple of stub videos. It's more or less the same method, but I keep showing you how I get there throughout the year to make the profit. Um, and I noticed that the exchanges I've been doing, they're cheaper than ever, so I wanted to dig in and show you how good it really is, how fruitful it truly, truly is. All right, um, I want you to leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. If it helps you in any way, make some stubs. Uh, leave a comment if it's doing that as well. Um, and of course, drop a sub if you have a second to, be greatly appreciated. I am broadcasting these tips on twitch.tv slash TV. Make sure to catch my live streams as well. So as you can see here, we have 100 gold exchange packs. It costs a lot less than you think it would. Now, remember, gold cards, if you quick sell them, you get a thousand stubs at the very least. Some of them are worth two, three, four, five thousand stubs. Um, live series aren't as expensive this late in the year, but because of that, kind of affected the price of other cards in the marketplace as well. Bronze, and silvers, commons. Um, I use silvers exclusively to do the gold exchange. I just go straight from silver to gold. I don't go common to bronze, bronze to silver, silver to gold. But regardless, it's very, very easy to spend less than a thousand stubs to get into the exchange, meaning you get a guaranteed profit. Let's go into the exchanges right here. I don't know if I have any more I can really do right now. I've really maxed this stuff out. Now, what I want a 79 silver, I want it less than 250 stubs because four 79s can equal a gold. Now, that's way over that, so I kind of either hold on if they're going to go gold, or I sell them for the inflated price. The way I do it is I either do three 79 silvers and one 78 silver, or four 78 silvers and one 77 silver. You get just over that 100% threshold on the silver exchange points. You need 18,000. It's always like 100 over or 300 over if you use that method. That's the best way to do it, in my opinion, because look at these 78s. Framber Valdez, I use him quite a bit. So when you factor 146 stubs per silver for Framber, five of those alone will get you a goal, but you can also do with a 77. That might be for like 120, 130 stubs, save you a little bit. It's very, very cheap. But use my calculator because I didn't go to college. Now, four silvers at his price is 584 stubs. If we were just going to do 578s, which you can also do, that's only 730 stubs. So no matter what, you are making 270 stubs every time you get into the gold exchange. And remember, some of them are worth well over a thousand stubs. Keep that in mind. This is a very easy thing to do. These orders fill very easily. Let's look at Tommy Canely. He is 79 overall. The fact that I'm spending 161 stubs on him is absolutely incredible. You got Gio Urshela, who's a 78. So these are also very cheap this way. So 125, you get four of those, cost like what, 500? You're, you're spending like 600 stubs possibly on these exchanges. It's absolutely incredible how many stubs are out there to make if you have a little bit of patience and due diligence. Now, I haven't been playing a lot lately, but we've been slowly investing in these silver cards for exchanges and then getting gold cards out of it now. Look at this. Sometimes the cards change in value, but there's always a couple of silver you can make a lot of profit off of. We've been doing this for like a week, it seems like. Right? I did this over and over and over. It's going to make me quite a bit of stubs, so make sure you check out this method as well. Now, let's reap the benefits, okay? Let's reap the benefits here. You're going to see Jan Gomes. He's not ideal for this. He's probably going gold, so his price is very high. Uh, Pineda is something you want to do, like Nico Horner. 218 stubs, you multiply it by 4, or you use 379s and a 78, you spend under 1,000 stubs. Um, so that's always good to keep note of. Uh, Hyunjin Ryu, he's also ideal for this right now with 207 stubs. So um, I would recommend doing 379s and then a 78 or 478s and a 77. Um, oh, look at this. Canley actually went up a little bit in price too. He tends to fluctuate. You see, there's only a couple orders separating from him at 226 going all the way back to 183. So maybe between 183 and 223, I would put some orders in down there. They always tend to fill after a long period of time. Um, you see some inflated ones again that are not ideal. Then you have like 225 is okay, 165. This is when you get to the silvers, uh, the 78 silvers. 166 is very cheap. I would do that. You got Mark Kane at 144. Are you kidding me? Get in on that. Uh, 150 for Gary, 154 for Rugi, 150 for Will Myers, 135, 137 for these free agents. I'm telling you, get on the stub method right now as you're watching this video. You can make stubs as you're watching this video, okay? So go do your exchanges, and I'll open up my packs in the meantime to see what we're working with. 
Now to go through this, you're gonna get a bunch that are quick sell value and that's okay because you still made hundreds of stubs on every single flip, guaranteed. We're gonna be spamming my inventory with stubs now, but we're gonna profit pretty well also. Keep in mind, if it shows quick sell at only being a thousand, it doesn't mean the buy now is that low either. You can always sell another hundred or so stubs sometimes. I wanna estimate we spent about 65,000 stubs to get a guaranteed 100,000 back, okay? Think of it, you're making about 200, 300 stubs per exchange. You multiply it by 100, and then you look at sometimes you're gonna get a Brandon Crawford. His sell now is 3,900, which means his buy now is probably over 4,000 stubs. So think about that. You could have spent about 600 to 750 stubs on a gold card, and you get 4,000 stubs in return for it. Please listen to this method. I'm begging you. There's so many stubs to make out here. Look at that, Cronoworth. And if you wanna wait for these guys to go diamond, you can make another thousand or two stubs from that as well. I'm telling you, there's a long game to this too. There we go, Rendon, he's an 83, so even if you don't wanna sell him for quick sell and he's not worth that much on the buy now, you might wanna use him for some kind of exchange. But regardless, we're getting stubs here. We're in the money. I would like a George Springer, he's about to go diamond. Ryzel Iglesias, look at that, another expensive gold. I'm guaranteed we're making stubs here. Levenger, I think his buy now might be over a thousand. Usually if they're above an 80, they tend to be above the quick sell value from the buy now. You're not Alvarez, he could feel he'd be diamond. It's he just went gold recently. Joe Musgrove, there we go, another spicy gold that we pulled. This is phenomenal. Eddie Escobar, okay. You Castillo, I forgot he's on the Mariners. Alex Bregman, he's back. A retro Red Sox legend, a Trout twin. Pete Alonzo, he's going up, he's trending up as well. Telling me, we got some expensive gold here on top of the guaranteed thousand. It is nice over here. Now we're getting some repeats here. I would like some repeat 84s. There we go, Giovanni Gallegos, Yankee legend. Avi Bias, he's an 84. The sell now is low though, damn. He's due for a downgrade, I guess. The Roca, he's done for the year, he's only a G. All right, Johnny Scope up to gold. Okay, Verdugo, you're not cheap. EJ, he might go silver. Trevor Story, another nice gold. I like this. I really like him so far. Another Cronoworth. We might come across 150K on that. Another Gene Segura is pricey too. This is going very, very well. We could be going towards 150K off this. Frank Grisham's also a little expensive. I can't win on all of them. But the Pete Alonso, let's get a good amount of these golds that are more than quick sell value. JT also looking nice. He was on Diamond Watch for a minute and cooled off. Yeah, that's money. Right, we're getting more repeat faces that aren't worth much. Your chick, I don't know your gold. I use him for these changes quite a bit when he was a silver. This is also a phenomenal thing to do the first couple weeks of the year. You spend a little over a thousand, that's when golds go for crazy prices. Devin Williams is a pricey gold, like seeing that. Devin Rogers, okay. Apparently, quick sell. Right, we're getting about halfway, and we... Oh, no, we're more than halfway. We got 37 left. Hold up, the light just went off. Why did my light fall? Anthony Desclafano did not even know you won gold. Good for you. Good for you, okay? J.D. Martinez. Another JT? Okay, I'm loving... I'm loving... Another JT, really, back-to-back. -back. Loving all the JTs. Another Devin Williams. This is going very well. Very happy with this. Josh Donaldson, you're cheap. Never wander. And doors on silver watch when he gets back, I guess. <clears throat> Loving the White Sox goals. Another Trevor Story. These going very well. Now I cannot wait to put in these sell orders and see, you know. Reaping the benefits. Larry, his buy now should be above that. Another Rizel, okay. I'm not going to wait on anyone to go diamond. I just want to start selling them and make some uh, stubs to show you how good it looks. A lot of 82s that apparently don't have a high buy now price, but we'll see about that. All right, we're down to the last nine or so. Another Rizel. This is really, 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 really good. I want to say at least 15 or 20 of these are going for like 3,000 stubs. Boom, another Chrono Worth. Rascal's only. Out of G, Rayu, 
All right, we're closing out. This is very good. This is very fruitful. Salvi's also expensive. Who's the last one going to be? Mike Trout. Yep. <laughs> Diamond Watch George Springer. All right, let's go to our collections. Sorry, inventory is what I meant to say. See, look at that. The, the sell now looked really bad. But can you come over here? Make 60. So that's about a thousand stub profit right there. Now these are just about quick sell. But hey, if you want a quick sell, go for it. But you get 1,052, that extra 50 stubs adds up over a long period of time. Now that's about quick sell. You're going to make like two stubs off that. So he goes. Um, Bull Chapman. Okay. He's not too high. Okay. 1148. I'll take a chat. Green. We're already getting stubs back. Springer. He's basically the return of a diamond quick sell. So $49.59 after taxes on George Springer. When you look at that and the fact I spent about 700 stubs on a gold exchange card, that's amazing. So keep doing this. Okay, we're going to do the packs right after this. We pulled a lot of these dudes. Okay. I don't think I spent more than 750, 750 stubs on any of them, so these are amazing returns. We're already 14,000 stubs up. Fallen got Monty from a live series pack? That sucks. Oh. Expect Fallen to come to the chat now and be like, God damn. Mm. Ooh, okay, so the quick sell. The, the sell now looks low, but that's a nice turn right here. There's Salvi. He's pricey. Okay, Donaldson is kind of pricey. Okay. He's above quick sell. We like that. This man is quick sell. Backlog's been bad as late. I can't complain after the ones I got. The Brightman's went fast. We had one Jordan here. We pulled three Rosella Glaciuses, which is fantastic. For a don't, let's do that. We got Fletcher, I forgot. That's Dassey one. Oh, good for him. Good for you. This is going very well. We're not even in the National League yet, really. You mind you do not order that we're waiting clear. There we go, he's worth a little bit. Great goddamn luck. Well, I think I do pretty well when you're here, so here's hoping. All right, Hobby, you can still sell for a little bit. Thank you. I spring cleared. Now let's get these Alonzo's out of the way. Rasco for 1400 Like. Ooh, Cigarette. I like this. Billies are hot lately. And this pays off. Try sitting on those packs. I wish. Well, they're really high diamond. I'm investing on this guy. 115 orders in. Now, side note. If I sell at this price, I'll get 2,879. So we're going to lose 20 stubs just to get that out of the way. Side note. All right. Just to get rid of that order. Don't let people ruin your flips. You got a fishy feeling? Frank, you are the good luck charm, so I need you here. Once we hit 100k... Oh, no, sorry. We already profited because we... There's no way we spent more than, like, 70,000 on those, uh... Exchanges. But we already made profit. Very cheap 84, but still stubs. There is also worth something.
Trevor Story bringing home the gold. Nope, pack opening is not done yet, don't worry. We're gonna start that in just a little bit. We're working on some, uh, another YouTube video on how to make stubs in the gold exchange. Yo, Musgrove. Oh my god, we have three Chrono Wars to sell. That does it. We're at 114,000 right now from doing the gold exchange. Um, like I said, we spent about 65,000, maybe 70,000 subs to get to that profit. And we have plenty of orders to still clear out. Oh my goodness. Let's ignore that Mike Piazza buy order, but look at what's coming in. <laughs> look at this. 23. We got like possibly 50k more coming in still. So we made almost 100k profit. Pretty good way to make stubs, wouldn't you say? And it does not take a long period of time. Please go follow those methods. Take 379 silvers, 178 silver. Take 478 silvers, 177 silver. Put those through the exchanges and sell those suckers for profit, all right? Um, maybe eventually I'll do a flipping video. Eventually I do a flipping video. Uh, just leave a thumbs up on the video. I want to help you make subs. Leave a thumbs up if it helped you. Leave a comment if it helped you. Sub to the channel if it helped you. And stay tuned for more. Till next time, peace out. Song is copyrighted, but thanks for watching. Da -da 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 -da.